Hello everyone. Today you we're going to be solving a very interesting equation uh, which is actually a nonic equation of ninth degree. Okay? So at this point if you want to pause the video and try the problem yourself be my guest. All right, let's get started. Now, we do have this expression 2x cubed plus x minus 3 to the third power and that is equal to 3 minus x to the third power. Obviously, if you just go ahead and expand this, you're going to be getting x to the ninth power, which is impossible to solve. Okay, you can find numerical methods, or if it's a really special type of equation, like symmetrical or some other type, you can, but in general, there is no solution. Okay, so we're going to be using a different method here. So please watch till the end to see how this unfolds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do first is in this equation, I'm going to put everything on the same side. So let me go ahead and add everything here. So I'll be getting 2x cubed plus x minus 3 cubed plus x cubed minus 3 is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do next is, this might be a little surprising, but we're going to be using a very, very cool technique in algebra. And these kinds of problems are very interesting. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is actually I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 and you're going to know in a little bit why I'm doing that. Okay, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 first. Let me not tell you why first, then hopefully you'll realize along the way. So I multiply both sides by 2, but that's not it. I'm going to be uh, go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, split this up a little bit. Okay. So actually, before I do that, I'll probably do the following. Okay, now inside the parentheses, notice that I see 2x cubed plus x minus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like that. So I'm going to add x to both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. We're allowed to do it, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and split up the negative 6 using my expression inside the parentheses. I'm going to split up the negative 6 into negative 3 and negative 3. Okay. So what is so good about doing that? Well, at this point, we're going to be using, like I said earlier, we're going to be using a very, very powerful method, which is called substitution. Yes. Okay. So this is how it works. This whole thing here is going to be called Y. Okay. And then you're going to see why I do that. This is also going to be Y. Then from here, I'm getting 2Y cubed plus Y minus 3 is equal to x. Awesome. This is really cool because what I called y is 2x cubed plus x minus 3. So that is equal to y. Awesome. Now, what I did was I had a one equation, which is ninth degree with one variable. I turned that into a system of equations. Sometimes we do that to make the problem actually uh, easier. So now at this point, you might be thinking, what am I going to do? Am I going to substitute? Nope. If you substitute y or x, you're going to go back to square one. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to take advantage of symmetry here. We're going to be subtracting these equations side by side. So if you subtract this way, we get 2y cubed minus 2x cubed plus y minus x and negative threes cancel out. And on the right hand side, I'm going to be getting x minus y. If I put x minus y on the left hand side, put everything on the left, I'll be getting 2y minus 2x being equal to 0. Now at this point, I can just go ahead and divide everything by 2, you know, because it's not going to make a difference. Then I'll get an even simpler equation. Nice. What I'm going to do next is, you might already know what I'm going to do. Let's see how that unfolds though y cubed minus x cubed is factorable. It's actually divisible by y minus x, and I have a y minus x. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to be using grouping, uh, factoring by grouping. So I'm going to factor these two terms, which is y minus x. We call that difference of two cubes, right? As you know, y squared plus yx plus x squared. And then plus, since I only have y minus x, that's going to be written as 1 times y minus x. Okay, cool. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now, at this point, I'm going to pull out the y minus x because that's a common factor. And then what am I going to have? y squared plus yx plus x squared plus 1. And the whole thing is equal to 0. Now, at this point, you might be saying, oh, okay, 
I got it, right? But that's not the end of the story. So make sure to watch till the end, okay? Because that's very interesting. Now, obviously from here, we get that y equals x, correct? y minus x equals zero implies y equals x. But what is y? Well, y is equal to 2x cubed plus x minus 3. So let's go ahead and write that down. 2x cubed plus x minus 3 is equal to x, which is nice because the x cancels out. Then we get a really simple equation. 2x cubed is equal to 3. And then x cubed is equal to 3 halves. Then x is equal to the cube root of 3 halves. Awesome. This is one of the solutions, obviously, right? What about the other ones? Okay, the other solutions are supposed to come from where? From here. So let's go ahead and write that down. We get y squared plus yx plus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. How am I going to solve this equation? There are two variables. Well, uh, we, this is a quadratic, so I can just go ahead and write it as a quadratic. It's not a perfect square, but I can just complete the square. So how should I write it? Well, you can just go ahead and write it as y squared plus yx plus 1 over 4x squared plus 3 over 4x squared plus 1. I hope what I did makes sense. So we can just go ahead and separate this part because that is equal to y plus 1 half of x quantity squared plus 3 fourths of x squared plus 1. And the sum is equal to 0. Now, what is really interesting about this equation is that even though there are two variables, this equation can be solved well, if you consider that a solution, because this equation has no solutions. Why? Because this expression cannot be negative. This expression cannot be negative. The sum of two non-negative quantities will never be zero. That means we do not get any real solutions from here. So the only solution is this one. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.